we're actually gonna make a lot of noise this entire time because we are generating actual lightning. Great, okay, so that's what I mean by indoor lightning. My name is Dr. Susan Heilman and I'm an education associate here at the Museum of Science Boston. Right now we're at the Making Models exhibit and here we've got a whole range of ways that models can be used. A model is a representation of something else that you'll often use when you can't get the actual thing. It would be great if we had a real train or a real 747 or every animal you could imagine, but we can't. And so we can have models that represent these things so that we can still talk about them. The model behind me is of, basically I call it the giant grasshopper. It's difficult to see a normal grasshopper there. I mean, they're an inch or two maybe, but in order to see things, the details of it, or to see the inside of it, well, then you're gonna wanna blow it up and make it a little bit bigger. Inside of the grasshopper, you can see what its muscles might look like and what its various systems might look like inside and you get a closer look. Even if you were to look under a microscope at a living grasshopper, you're still not gonna be able to see inside of it. And so this gives us the opportunity to do what you almost couldn't do in any other way except by modeling it. Some of my favorite pictures. Right now we're at the Charles Hayden Planetarium here at the Museum of Science and we have all eight planets in here and we have our sun as well and it's to scale size-wise to the planets that are in this room as well. They're not for distance from the actual sun. If we did that on this size scale, then it would actually spread out maybe 20 miles outside of Boston. You know, we think that planets like Saturn and Jupiter are, are enormous, but the sun is so much bigger than that. And then each of these models also, you can see it with your own eyes, but then also tells you what is it, how big is it, how massive is it in relation to the Earth, too. We have to build them up. It's going to take the vibration. Of the my name is Dan McDonald, and my position here at the museum is the manager of exhibit fabrication and maintenance. There are over a thousand exhibits out in the museum. And of those, about 500 are interactive, where people can hands-on touch and learn science in a hands-on way. From models, we want to get a sense of, do people like, like it? Do they understand it? Can they use it? Can it rotate? Can we, the museum, maintain it over not just the course of six months, but over the course of 10 years? Let's go through a motion. We do a lot Take of prototyping because for Stop. us, by making a model and testing it with our visitors, we understand not just what the visitors want, but we understand what will work mechanically, what will work physically. A lot of times uh, when we put a brand new uh, prototype out, it breaks and we expect that. We want to know where it's going to break so we can reinforce that area. But that's what we learned from modeling is you don't get it right the first time. And if you keep modeling, if you keep prototyping, you keep testing, in the end you'll have a great, fantastic product. Sometimes when we're studying things like dinosaurs, we actually can find a large number of the actual fossils. This is Cliff. 70% of this Triceratops is actual fossil. The other 30% is a model. It's models of all the other bones that fit in with the fossils. Now in other cases, if we don't have a complete skeleton, then we make the whole thing into a model. And we have our Tyrannosaurus rex here, which isn't from one particular fossil, but a lot of information we have about fossils to make one big model. Everything in our day-to-day -day lives uses models. You don't even realize some of the things that are models. So this exhibit is not just about the models themselves and how you can make a model and what the use of a model is for, but it's also using models to teach about other things, about everyday life, about other animals, about uh, transportation and things like that.